Hundreds of applicants. Fifteen contestants. And only one gaming millionaire. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to round one of Gaming Millionaire. I'm very excited to be here to be starting this new series and uh, we for our very first contestant, um, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Andrea. On YouTube I'm Atemu Voice and I'm from Germany. Yeah, that's amazing. You know you know what I found funny is that um, <laughs> I'm Canadian and you're German but the majority <laughs> of our audience is going to be American which is <laughs> just fascinating to me. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, out of all the comments that I saw, you were like one of three like European or German people, so just like <laughs> <laughs> luck of the draw. <laughs> wow, there you go. Yeah, so so how are you feeling? Are you did you study at all? Do you feel confident? Uh I hope. I just check Wikipedia on everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia is a vast source of knowledge, so Yeah. All right, so um, if you're ready, then I suppose we yeah. can get started here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with the first easy question. This is worth your first point, and uh, of course, as you as you know, you have um, or as if you remember, you have three hints that you can use for throughout the duration of the entire round for 15, 15 questions. You can only use one hint per question, though. Okay. And you have three hints to the last 15 questions. So here we go. Your first question is, who is the main villain in the Mario franchise? Ganon, <laughs> okay. Bowser, Wario, Toadsworth. Bowser. Final answer? <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Yep, good job. I would have been very upset if you got that wrong, to be honest. <laughs> no, of course, it's Toad. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, Toadsworth, you know. Just <laughs> Everyone knows that. All right. Uh, this is sort of... No, what is happening? Oh my god, technical difficulties. I'm trying to copy paste <laughs> this answer, but uh Okay, sorry about that. So your second question here, if I can get it set up, will be Question number two. What is the standard color of Mega Man's costume? Red, green, blue, yellow. It's blue. That's correct. Good job. That's your yeah. second point. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you're doing good so far. Two questions in. <laughs> All right. And I was worried about the Mega Man question. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. So here we go with question number three. What is Kirby's signature ability? Copying enemies' abilities, turning invisible, manipulating the flow of water, or using a whip of yarn to attack his enemies? That would be a copying enemies' abilities. Final answer? Yes. Perfect. That's a good job. Three points. Ooh, looking good. Alrighty. Question number four. You're blazing through these easy questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question number four. What is the staple collectible of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise? Chaos Emeralds, Rings, Coins, or Wisps? I don't really get what are staple collectibles because I, I'm German. I don't know the word. Okay, staple collectible is basically like the thing you go around just collecting a ton of in games, like in in the Mario oh, games, okay, right? so okay. coins. In the okay, then it's B rings. Final answer. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. Uh, I'm Thank serving you. as the audience. <laughs> it's sort of <laughs> less climactic without the audience from with the the studio audience, but. We, we can't afford a studio, unfortunately, so... <laughs> I can't afford to fly you into a studio either, so... Okay, here we go. Hmm, from Germany to Canada, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here is your final easy question, number five. If you, okay. And if you get this right, you will get one bonus point for not, for not having used any hints on the easy questions. Okay. Alright, here we go. Which of the following is not one of the qualities represented by the Triforce in the Legend of Zelda franchise? Loyalty, wisdom, courage, or power? That would be A, loyalty. Final answer? 
Yes. Good job. You got through the easy questions, and that will so that gives you six points with your bonus point there. Ooh, at least some points. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you're on a roll. All right. And uh, so before we move on to the intermediate questions, we're going to take a short commercial break, which uh, that's only going to be happening for the audience, not for us. We'll move on right away. But yeah, so please enjoy the following commercial brought to us by somebody. Now here's a quick question for you folks watching at home. In which year was the earliest known interactive electronic game created? 1958, 1966, 1947, or 1951? Find out the answer after this short commercial break. Hi, Millie Bays here with a chair. Have you ever been walking around your house and you just can't find a spot to sit down? It's infuriating. Well, I've got a chair. And it, it possibly the most comfortable thing you will ever sit in. This chair is made out of A-grade, top-of-the-line aluminum foil. Not that stuff you wrap your food with. This is made very lightweight, so you can maneuver this chair easily as you see I'm moving it like a ninja moves a pair of nunchucks or maybe a sword. This chair also has the place where you sit your buttocks and your back have a cushion in it so you will never go uncomfortable again in your home. If you don't believe me, because you know I'm just a random stranger, then ask another random stranger, one of our lovely customers. It's a chair. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, that's a chair. So, get your credit card out of your wallet, pull out your cell phone, and call 1-800-POTATO-CHIPS to order now, and you will get this chair with an arm thing on the side of it. You can put a game system on it. We're talking book bags for those kids who go to school. An iPod. The book bag fell off. A glove. A water thing. And even an extra human body can sit on this chair. It is amazing. But only if you order now. Or in the next 15 minutes. Find 800 potato chips so you can sit in a comfy chair. Yay! I love this chair, man. If you answered B, 1966, then you were wrong because the answer is C, 1947, with the advent of the cathode ray tube amusement device. And doo -doo 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 -doo. I shouldn't be making music. I'm going to edit in music. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Um, we are here with Andrea. And, Hi. And uh, she has blazed through the first five easy questions of this, which I was, I, I have to say, I was expecting that. But uh, we're ready to move on to the intermediate questions now. Do you feel confident? I hope. <laughs> All right. So it's a little step up, step up in difficulty, but here is your sixth question. Okay. What are the names of the two robots you control in Portal 2's cooperative mode? GLaDOS and Wheatley, Chell and Caroline, Atlas and Peabody, or Hermes and Peabrain? That's uh, C, Atlas and Peabody. Sound pretty confident. Final answer? Yes. Great job. That is correct. Ooh. Have you played Portal 2? Uh, no, actually no? not. Well, but you... I watched Let's Play. So. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I should expect that then. All right. Question number seven. Yeah. Conquer the Squirrel has only ever appeared in four games. In which game did he make his first appearance? Twelve Tales Conquer 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Conquer's Pocket Tales, or Conquer's Bad Fur Day? That's B, Diddy Kong Racing. Final answer? Yes. You are on fire! Oh my god, <laughs> that is correct. That is your... I just read that on Wikipedia. <laughs> Amazing, yeah, so studying does pay off. That, that's yes, proof right there. Does. Perfect. Good job. Alright, so that is eight points for you so far. You are setting the bar high. Okay. <laughs> Question number eight. Here we go. The seven Koopalings first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Which of the following is not one of their full names? Iggy Koopa, Morton Koopa Jr., Ludwig von Koopa, or Wendy Koopa? Uh, which of the following is not one of their full names? Uh, I know Ludwig von Koopa. You always have your hints. Don't forget that. 
Wendy Lord Koopa Jr. I oh my gosh. I know them, but I don't know what names. Uh, Take your time. Me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very confusing because I don't know. I don't want to sway you in any, in any way here, but yeah. Are you confident in any of the answers that it's not? Like which ones are wrong? Um, I'm thinking. I don't know if I. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it sounds German, but <laughs> <laughs> it well, certainly it does. Um, Iggy, I know all four, but the full names. The full name. I think I need a hint. You need your hint. Okay, yeah. I will post that in the Skype chat for you as well. So yeah. this is your first hint of three. Mm. And here is your hint for this question. middle initial of their name is missing. The middle initial of their name is... <laughs> Just think back, have you seen these names before and which one might have a middle initial? Which ones don't have a middle initial? Well, Ludwig has the fawn, but it's there. Very true. Very true. Uh... Ege Wendy... Um... I don't know if Iggy and Wendy have something to their names too. Hmm. Martin has the junior at the end, but oh god. Well, it almost sounds like you've got it narrowed down to two choices, so if worst comes to worst, you can just take a guess. You've got nothing to lose. What do I have? You currently have eight points. And if you yeah. and if you get it wrong, you will um your two remaining hints will turn into points, and you will end with ten points. Yeah, but I want to go on! You want to go on. Of course, you can guess and get it right. There's th that's entirely possible. Iggy I don't think that Iggy has a middle initial. Just think hard. Morton. Oh my gosh. Morton, Wendy... Just all these options going through your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Just replaying the game in my head. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hope to find the middle initial in the little text boxes in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good strategy, honestly. Or you could go play the game for real, just very discreetly and very fast. Okay, where's my game? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. Ah, the audience would be like, "It's totally this." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the audience is pretty smart. A lot of them. Yeah. Of course, you've probably answered some of the questions here that they don't know. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, f feel free to take your time. We've got a long time to go. We cut it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, which one do you feel the most confident in right now, out of the four? Just right now, if you, had, if you had to take a guess right this second. If I had to take a guess... Well, I think I would not choose Iggy or Ludwig. Okay. If I had to choose, I think it's between Morton and Wendy. But Morton has the junior, but I don't know if Wendy had something. It's all those little stipulations that you've got to remember. Uh, 
just to clarify, middle initial just means uh, one letter or something. That is correct. One letter followed by a period to signify that mm -hmm. it's an initial. Oh. I don't know, but I think it's Morton and the audience will kill me if it's wrong. <laughs> All right, so you think it's Morden? Is that going to be your final answer? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's r it's that wrong. is incorrect. It's Wendy. Uh, D. Uh, Wendy. What does Wendy have? Her, her full name is Wendy Okupa. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Sorry to see it end that way. But you know what? You got you got ten points, and that is nothing to. Do I get half a point for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no half points for wrong answers, but uh, but you did yeah. very well for your first for the first round. Uh, thank you. Excellent job. I'm sure the audience is feeling your pain right now, but uh. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, that I'm going play the game right now. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this first round of Gaming Millionaire. Then, um. There should be one more commercial after this, followed by our little audience challenge for the day, so uh, stay tuned for that. And thank you very much, Andrea, for tuning in for this. Thank you. For coming, <laughs> for coming on. It's been a pleasure having you on. Sorry you couldn't go further, <laughs> you. but you did pretty well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was fun. Indeed. All right, and I will see you all next week for the second round of Gaming Millionaire. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you want a chance to be the contestant. It could be you. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to the technical episode 14 of Challenge Sunday. Of course, this is actually a mini episode going at the end of Gaming Millionaire, and this will happen every week. It has the same basic rules as the actual full Challenge Sunday series, and you will be able to click a link in the bottom left corner of the video right now to go see those basic rules if you're not familiar with them. And let's just hop right into it here. As you can see, or maybe you can't because you're not familiar with this game, this game is Battle Kid Fortress of Peril for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, I have this password put in here, Champion. This will activate a boss rush mode. And the, um, the challenge here for Challenge Sunday is to see how fast you can beat the first boss of the game, the Lotus Guardian. Now keep in mind, your t your challenge is not to beat my time, I'm just setting an example time here. This Your challenge is to beat each other's time, and whoever has the best time out of everyone who enters will be the winner. And of course you have until next week to enter until next Sunday. Be sure to get it in by Saturday, at least if you want to be safe. And uh, yeah, so let's hop right into it here. The there's really no specific rules for this challenge. All that you have to do is just go to the first boss. I I recommend even if you can get to the first boss in like the f in the main game, I recommend you do this challenge mode anyways, or like this input this password here, 
In fact, I'm going to make that a rule. You have to use the boss rush mode of this boss to fight it because it shows a timer in the top right. And that's going to be very helpful because the time, the first time that you see when you defeat the boss, that will be your official time. So uh, now that I'm done rambling, let's get on with it. You can see the timer in the top right there. It disappears during the boss fight, of course, but you can take as many times as you want to try and beat this guy. There's no big rush. You can practice as much as you want, because I know a lot of you probably haven't even played this game, let alone any, like, if you have played it, you've probably, a lot of you might have not gotten to this guy because it might have been too frustrating, but this is the Lotus Guardian. He's not too bad. You can see my strategy from here. All you have to do, you just have to get his timing down. The bad thing about him is that the timing of the thorns that he shoots and the timing of the vine that comes up from the floor are holistically different, so you have to be wary of that and sort of time two things at once, but uh, there you go. And then my time will be, it looks like 41 seconds and something sent a second. So that is not your time to beat, that's just my set example time. Your time can be like five minutes or whatever, and if anyone gets, no one, if no one gets less than five minutes, then you're the winner. So there you go. And it's, and you do not have to have a no death run or anything, you can die to him and it, it'll like keep counting your time. You'll see how it works, I'm sure. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching, um, good luck to you, and I will see you all next week for more Gaming Millionaire and Challenge Sunday.